How's it going guys? Jay's here, back with another historic no-band deck today. I'm having great fun with this format. You know, you can do some real crazy stuff. And I just want to play with some really, really powerful, fun cards. Now, I'm doing three different deck techs in total. This is the second one. We've already done a Titan Field list. If you haven't checked that one out, go and check that one out after this video. Today, we've got what I would call a Broco deck. Of course, it's based around Oko. Uh, it's super powerful, but so is Omnath. Omnath is incredibly powerful. Big four drop. You know, it comes in, draws you a card, which is fantastic. And the landfall, you just get so much value from this. It gains you life. It can give you a ton of mana, and then you can deal damage to your opponent, which is very, very powerful. We are playing a bunch of historical banned cards in these colors. So here's a four-color deck. Let's get into it. So we're starting off with four copies of Swords to Plowshares. Of course, it is banned. It is a very good removal spell. You know, it's played a lot in Legacy. Uh, isn't in modern yet. I have a feeling that it might do eventually. Um, but it is a really good removal spell. You know, being able to deal with any creature pretty much for one mana. You know, they do gain life, but you half time you don't really care. It does XR, which is very, very relevant. So it is a very good removal spell. Then four copies of Brainstorm. Yeah, another band card, extremely powerful cantrip. Allows you to protect your hand from discard spells, allows you to work stuff quite well with fetch lands which we've got fable passage in the deck things like that very powerful then i'm running three copies of delighted halfling great one drop you know it does tap for colorless however it can tap for any color mana when you cast a legendary spell whether that be a planeswalker whether or not that would be omnath because omnath is four colors and also it can't be countered so it means our one rings can't be countered our teferis our okos our omnaths they all just can't be countered so pretty good one drop we've got four counter spells Again, another band card in Historic. It is a very powerful counter spell. We've seen it now come into the modern format, and it's done reasonably well there. I wouldn't say it's like super powerful, but it has done reasonably well here. There, it has done reasonably well there. Over in Historic, it did get banned. It is quite good. Like, let's be fair. Two mana to counter anything is strong. Uh, three, most three mana counter spells are pretty poor, uh, but having two, two mana, just does it. So we're playing the full four there. We've got a one-off copy of Expressive Iteration good card all round really uh which is quite good for some nice card advantage then three copies of teferi time raveler i love this you know place walk it makes things super awkward for your opponent uh you know being able to bounce stuff to people's hands and things like that is very strong um you know and you know your opponent can't counter stuff they can't do things in response very strong passive it is a really really good planeswalker and uh did get a change i believe in alchemy but uh yeah we're trying out and it's very very strong then, of course, Oko, or Broco, as you will, you know, makes food tokens, turns any creature artifact into an elk that loses all abilities. That is incredibly powerful. Uh, the minus five doesn't come into effect that often, uh, but you could. The fact is, a three mana planeswalker, uh, you know, comes down, could go up to immediately six loyalty, is really tough to deal with, but it's that plus one. And that plus one is the reason why Oko has been banned across so many formats. Then, of course, we've already talked about Omnath is just a big threat of this deck. And they are really, really powerful. Four copies of the One Ring, it's just super strong. You know, this four mana artifact is indestructible. It comes down, and on top of that, it makes you, you know, protection from everything. Because you kind of invulnerable, basically. And you can tap it, put a counter on it, draw cards, and then you lose life equal to the number. You can tap it, put a counter on it, draw cards equal to the number of counters on it. And then at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose life equal to the number of burden counters on it. This is incredibly powerful because you can chain it with other one rings to reset them and stuff like that it's just so much shenanigans then we've got one copy of the of lorian revealed and this is mainly to fix our mana a little bit with that island cycling for one mana which is actually quite nice then we'll four copies of ley line binding i mean ultimately like we're four technically five color deck very powerful you know allows us to deal with pretty much anything for its super cheap ends and speed which is really nice and then a one-off copy of asian treachery when we generate a ton of mana and we just want to steal all our opponent's stuff it is pretty nice. And then the lands, we've just got a bunch of basics. Uh, we've got some Passage use to deal with artifacts and enchantments if there is any. You know, we are playing a four colored deck, so you've got to play some triomes to try and fix that mana. Is the, you know, has the land types for the ley line binding. Then we've got four copies of Fable Passage to help fetch, you know, up, you know, our colors we need. But on top of that, it works really well with Omnath. And then we've got two copies of Field of the Dead, another banned card. You know, when you have seven or more different named lands, and the land comes into play, you start making 2-2 two -two zombies, which is incredibly powerful. So it's a really good late game grindy card. So that is the deck, guys. If you do want to get this deck a try, the deck list is in the description below. This is going to be great fun. Let's see how we get on. Opponent's going first. Uh, 
I'll just keep I'll keep this. I mean we've got minor accelerators. Um don't really want the agent treachery, but Okay, well there goes the one ring. That was what I was gonna ramp into. Potentially could be playing again. Uh I don't know. Uh oh it's a fairy, that's a good one. Take that. That's a good one to get. Alright, maybe Mono Black don't want to you, sure. Uh, next turn we'll play Teferi. And probably just tick up. Uh, yeah, probably just tick up. Yep. Oh, Council's a good one as well. I mean, not great at the moment, but... Okay, Mono Black. Okay. Friction Obliterator. I mean, that's not bad for me. I just bounce that back to his hand. Draw Leyline Binding. That's a good one. Oh. Let's go with this tap. And then we'll play Light Halfling and we're getting there. Boom, lovely. Well, Leyline Binding if need be. Another demonic tour, sure. Such a powerful card. I mean, we're all we're all playing with powerful cards. Find a way to deal with Teferi. Is that what they wanted? Inquisition. Take counter spell. That's fine. Doors to plowshares. That's a good one. Okay, right. Fable passage. And then just jam in. Last turn. This poor uh, obliterator is never <laughs> gonna see the light of day. Okay. A fight? And you think you can win? Just gonna get rid of the. What was the plowshare? I think. Do I? Oh, I don't know. We'll see what they do. Do they want to tick out? I think they got a minus. I think they got a minus. Gotta grab an island with this as well. Okay, they're gonna tick out, so. We get rid of the. Gourds, I think. Yep. Yeah. got rid of the obliterator. Fine. Let's grab an island. Perfect. Okay, hey, drew another blue source. I could agent treachery this. Yeah. And take the lily. Um, pick up. And I'm just going to pass. Not looking good. I mean, I could bounce the Agent of Treachery. Uh, I'll take in his lands. Uh, we're going to attack first. Yeah, man. Bounce. Brainstorms, good one. Uh, grab. Probably a green. Um. Probably pass. Yeah, it's one of the exciting. Brainstorm. Mm. 
There we go. Take one of my ley line bindings. Coco's way better. Oh, pick up. Okay, make this a three-three. Rumble in. Um, play land and pass. We know what's on top of my library. It's an ancient treachery. Got the Oko in play. Got Teferi in play. It's going to be pretty tough. Even with the uh, incredible power that is Demonic Tutor, I uh, don't think it's going to be. Oh. Um. Let's play Agent Treachery. Take one of his lands. Doesn't really matter. The world dreams. Okay. Well, I will draw and take one. Yeah, GG. GG. Okay, opponent's going first. Uh, not great, but I'm going to keep. Dragonway Chandler. Okay, well, these uh, halflings are probably not going to be long for this world. Un untap land would be good. Yep. Hmm, not great. But. Here we go. The light halfling's good though. Got another one if they kill it. Expect a ragavan of some description. There's Bobel. Okay. Right. And against a Grixis deck. They didn't kill the Halfling. Maybe they're holding up counter magic for good old Oko okay Broko. I'm gonna play another Halfling, see what they do. Land go. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab a blue with this. Means I got like three blue spells in my hand. I know I don't I don't have a white, but Okay, well luckily these are one twos and not uh you know, not one ones. They're not like I know wish my secret lamar off or anything like that. I mean, they do count on the one ring, which is a bit of an issue. I need to hit land, though, off the top. Ideally, a white colored land. Yep. No land from my opponent though. Good for me. Okay, no land. Could play Oko here. Yep. Just use up their counter magic. Actually, to be fair, they can't counter. I just realised <laughs> he's legendary. Isn't he? The delighted halfling makes him uncounterable, which is just ridiculous. I think here. I'm just going to make a food token. He goes to 6 loyalty, which is huge. Just a huge amount of loyalty uh, to have, so... It's pretty strong. You know, at the moment, my opponent's just got 3 one ones. Not great for them. Um... 
I mean, could make the bomb ring uncountable as well, which is pretty sweet. Yep. I didn't draw, um, <laughs> draw play any of my brainstorms. All these orcish bone masters out. I think the uh, Dragon Beach Channeler, though, will be online. I mean, they could deal with the Oko if they got like a lightning bolt uh, or something like that. They put a Delver into the graveyard. Okay, so we've got Delver as well. Yep, there we go. Do they have a bolt or something to deal with that extra three damage to Oko? There is. See? That's fine. We've got another one. Uh, I think the other one... I mean, I could... Oh, it's all the end of my turn, was it? Uh, I, thought it was in the, I thought it was in their turn. Of course, now, now they can attack it. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. For some reason, I thought it was uh, in their turn, but no. Another bauble. I mean, Oko's gonna die. Um, I need I need a land. If I don't get a land, then it's kind of annoying. Uh, probably have to play the other Oko in my hand. Good tick up to make the Dragon Rage Challenge just a basic three three. Does seem kind of weak. Um. So we have to wait and see. I think that's better than making the food a three. I do think it's better. The one ring would be pretty good, but not with this Orcish bow muscle out. That, that would be uh, pretty bad. Pretty bad. I really do need a white mana though. A land. Okay, well it is a land. Uh, it does come play tapped though. Is a bit of a bit of a bummer. Play Oko. Plus one. Make the Dragon Rage Channel a 3-3. Eh. Yep, I want to make the food a 3-3. Because at the moment this food is just sad doing absolutely nothing. Yep. And I might as well just get rid of this now. And I'll grab a planes. Yep. Uh, no, one attack. Okay, they did have the lightning bolt. I was thinking, did they have another lightning bolt? Did they not? Well, they did. Okay, so Oko's gonna die, but at least I'm still got a 3 3 in play, which could be a good blocker. Um. We've got the Leyline Binding now online. We've got a Leyline Binding, the Orcish Bowmasters. Another one ring. Um. We might counter this. They don't. Okay. Um, I'm just going to have to get rid of the Orcish Bone Masters, I think. They could have another one. It would be a, would be a pain, but... Um, Rumble in for three. Right, over to your opponent. I mean, I could have done the Dragon Rage, but... Um, I, ne I need to resolve this. One of these one rings. And not get absolutely ruined. Uh, but they've used... Yeah, lots of mischievous balls. Two lightning bolts. A couple of brainstorms. I like the deck though. The deck's pretty sweet. What have you got? Land, okay. Yep. 
take three. Feels kind of bad. All mana now. Ragavan, yeah. To be expected. Okay, it did draw land, but it was. Uh, could have done it to be blue or white, but. We're gonna go with green. Um. I wanna keep. Go up there. Not really. Keep white up, at least, because I've got the ley line binding. Maybe they're trying to find Orcish Bowmasters. It is uncounterable though. Yep. I mean, the One Ring is super powerful. Uh, do I need to draw a card now? No. No, I don't. No attacks. Got a Ragavan. I mean, not like it means anything. I got pro stuff, so. But it means I do have the mana to hold up Leyline Binding. Which is pretty good. Very good, uh, quite a bunch. I mean, I could lay line bind in the Dragon Rage channel, which I'll probably do. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. I haven't seen a counter spell from them yet, though. Yep. Maybe they're holding up Morkish Bowmasters. Yep. Good lay line bind in the Dragon Rage channel. He's got enough value from it. Get off the table. If I tap this and they play Orcish Bone Monsters, so be it. That to me is what they're holding up. With their two mana. Brazen Borrower? Aha. Okay, right, alright. Easy the same same thing. That's fine. Build of the dead, that's a good draw. Um Take that. Draw. Draw two. Okay, now we're rolling. So, uh, probably could play the expressive iteration. Do that. Um, haven't played a land. Don't really care about the Besage you. Don't really care about that now. Um,. Brainstorm can go in my hand. And... This can go in my library and this can get exiled. I think it really matters, right? I'm gonna try him. Pass. I'm on 13. I now got the colours I want. And... I'm two land away from field, so... Okay. Block the Ragavan. You tax the Ragavan. No, I'll take three. Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect that. Okay. 
Go to eight. Another ley line binding. Oh boy. Okay, right, so. I'm going to go with. White. Red. Blue. Green. Omnath. Uh, land game four. Hmm. So, I'll count spell up. I've got ley line binding for one of these. I'll pass. Uh, I don't have to count this, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then I could lay line. It's gonna hit me for five. I go to seven. Go to. Or Count a spell. Yep. Okay, go to seven. Go to five. Go to two. That's eh, kind of irrelevant. Lightning bolt kills me. Okay. Bro. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, don't do that. Okay, uh, then build a dead. And then I could play fairy. As I've been playing the fairies there. Yep. Got two cards. Temple Garden. Brian. I was just playing on the field of the dead. Okay, so I've got protection from everything. Oh. Close game. This is a super grindy game. It's called Ward 2, which is a bit of a pain. I've got two brainstorms in hand. Good. Okay. This field of the dead's good. Good. Is this doing work? Bounce my Omnath. Okay. Cool. Brainstorm. I don't think they realise I had pro everything. Oh, yeah. brilliant, amazing. Right, open hand, opponent's going first. I'm going to on that. That was a terrible mana base. 
Oh, uh, this is mm, it's a little bit better. I'm gonna get rid of one of the Pesagies. It's a little bit better. Not much better, but a little bit better. At least I get to play the Delight Halfling. On turn one. Facing against a birdie. Didn't expect to come across that, but okay. Go up. Okay. And another one flat up. Sure. Uh, I'm going to play land, sacrifice it for a Blue. And I'll pass. Yep. Okay, right, well, <laughs> um, okay, right, play for all the dead. Uh, play. Oh, I just passed them. I'll play Brainstorm at the end of their turn, try and find a land. Oh, I can play this Omnath. Not really pressured. Cool. Just a zero, and then a zero five. Take the damage. Alright, brainstorm. There's the lands I need. Yep. Get these back. Yep. Get it to your life. Take the Omnath. Draw a card. Pass turn. I mean, I'm on 13. About to take what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get 8. Yeah. You know? Okay, count spell. Um, play that, play that, this. I'll bounce this back to his hand. Asian treachery. Um. Get a bunch of life. Turn. And then. Probably just expressive iteration. I've got a nice ley line binding if need be. Wow. Hey, look, this ain't easy. Hey. You know? I had a bit of a rough start. Getting punished for it. That happens, isn't it? Okay, got another Besage you, that's kind of pointless. <laughs> uh, let's go with blue, red, and we'll go for an expressive eration. Uh, this can go in my hand, then go to the library, and I want that. Get the land, get full life, pick up. Uh Cool. Over right to you, opponent. Yep. Good Leyline binding this.
Yep. Big four. Brainstorm. Pick up. Trust me, I have a plan. <laughs> um Let's see what I can find. I can go back. And I'm now can go back. Nothing too good, to be fair. Um Hmm. I play this, tapped. Yeah, zombie, of course, feel the dead. Got the swords to plowshares as well. Play the halfling. Um and pass, I think. Yeah. What are you getting the swords of plowshare in this? That one for cards. Play a land. Keep that one. Get a zombie. Gain some life. Pick up. Yeah. Pretty much here. Last turn. Another big. Uh, Oh, I thought it was a crab. I know it's a toe. It was a toe. I mean, I don't see how I could lose. I don't say that and then lose, but it's taking me a while to win. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's it's definitely taking me a while. Uh, for sure. Am I might age. Do I Asian and Treachery one of the 1 1 flyers? It just seems kind of weak. Also, kind of funny. Yeah, let's do it. Take one of your flyers. Pass. I'll counter anything that's scary. Harry for one. Like me for one. Okay. Bounce this back to my hands. Brainstorm. Do the same again. Agent Treachery. Give me your flyers. <laughs> Give me your flyers. More zombies. Okay, now I'll swing in. Now, now it's fine. Now it's fine. Took me a while to get there, but you know. I did draw pretty poorly. I did draw pretty poorly. Oh. I mean, I'm back up to 20. Yeah. My opponent making me sweat a little bit. One ring now, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much game over. Oh, it's game over anyway, but you know what I mean. That's fine. Um, ring in and it. 
Yep. Yeah, this deck doesn't deal with flyers very well, as it's clearly been exposed. <laughs> Again, over to your opponent. Okay, I'm going first. Uh, terrible hand. Uh, this is terrible again. This one's better. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Uh, yeah. You. I'm only going to five on the play. Is not great, but we do have. Um. Okay. Uh. Okay, yeah. yeah man, I was gonna brainstorm, but I can't. It's not an actual proper decent fetch land. This is a a make do fetch land in this format. It's still not great though. Grab an islands. It's a fairy, my main man. Grab a white with this one. Yeah. Grab. Planes. Of course, I draw. Of course, I draw the count spell. Okay. Yeah, this seems like an okay hand. I'll keep this. Turn one. Play the halfling. I didn't play anything there. Interesting. Maybe they got fail push. Dark ritual. Probably dark ritual. Stop. Having Oko would have been really good there actually, but Chill. Yep. Yep. He's dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine just had a lightning bolt? I play a man of shim. Three mana. No, technically you got two mana. Okay. Okay, lots of mana. There you go. There's a dark ritual which I thought they had. Just gonna keep casting stuff. Draw, co cast, and draw, cast, draw. Here we go. I guess until they cast something absolutely massive. 
six, seven, eight. Basically, like, if you don't, have, like, against these channel decks, if you don't have, you know, if you're not on the play, don't have a counter spell, or you don't have a discard spell, I'm gonna just lose. Sure. Randomly brainstorm just to see what's on top of my. I don't actually know. There's actually anything I can actually do with either. We're gonna see. Well, not too bad. You know, this deck. It's interesting. A lot of these channel decks are very strong combo decks. Very strong. So either I'm on the play and I have a counter spell, and the mana to play the counter spell. If I'm on the draw, it's it's whether or not they have the channel on turn two with whatever they want to channel into. It is super difficult. I think the only way you could get around it with this deck is if you played maybe copies of Spell Pierce in the in the deck if you really wanted to. There seems to be a lot of not a lot of creature decks, but a lot of combo style strategies uh, in this historic no ban. So you know, a part of me is like, okay, well, Leyline Binding and things like Swords of the Plowshares are very good at dealing with creatures. There just isn't enough of them around. Uh, so for this deck, you know, if the game does go to mid to late game. This is a very good grind deck, and it's got a few little chances for outplaying, uh, which is very, very strong. So if you want to give this deck a try, guys, of course, the deck list is in the description below. If you watch more Magic content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're going to be posting a ton of deck techs when Wild Devil Drain comes, so definitely make sure you're subscribed, guys. All right, that's it from me in this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.